This is so awesome. This is my second last stop in Adamstown. I'm so happy because it's 11 o'clock in the morning and that means I can go to some different places as long as I don't spend like six hours here. Well, unfortunately, the planter was chipped and the two left in Valentine's Day girls were um, repaired and repainted. However, for $6, it's not one of the fabric ones, but it's still a great deal. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this little candy box. Love the pink color. Oh my gosh, and look at the little, he's missing his nose, but he's only $7. He's pretty great. Definitely wouldn't sell for top dollar, but I could make some money off of it still. I'm a little, am I being weird by leaving this? I'm gonna keep looking. I love Tiffany's case. Now that one, I can't resist. That one's $6.50. I'm gonna have to get a key to get that Holly Berry snowman out. Let's see if there's anything else in here before I get too carried away. I love the little Santa. We're gonna see how much he is. I can't see the tag from here. Look at that little, is that a, that is so interesting. The little necklace. Hmm. Looks like there's something going on in here I might need to take a second look at. We love new old stock stuff. Cute, but no. Some array of picks, but I have some Valentine's Day picks that I haven't listed yet, honestly, and there's a lot of them. And they're all like that. Lots of cute stuff, but yeah, we are gonna have to get the case for the Holly Berry Boy. Oh my gosh, these are so cute too. $12, if it was all like these little angels, I might do it. Um, like I said, I'm being super picky. I did get the Blow Man, uh, the <laughs> Blow Mold Snowman. They have a lot of great stuff in this booth, but most of it's pretty close prices for me. Um, and of course, I love all of Tiffany's fun cases. Again, a lot of stuff I really like, but I'm really being specific today, so I'm gonna keep going. Fun little bag of rattles. Now again, $14, that's fair if it was another day. Oh, ooh, how did I almost miss this? Now I've bought and sold these in the past. These ones with the stand like that usually sell pretty well. It would be, like $20 after the 10%, which is more than fair. Um, I could easily double my money on that, but I, I actually got stuck with a couple last time. A couple sold instantly and a couple kind of lingered. So I think I'm gonna keep looking um, as crazy as that is. I might come back. Like I said, I'm, if it was another day, I would totally do it. It's just, I'm trying to go uber unique or Valentine's Day only and I've had it before now. Speaking of uber unique, this booth usually has uber unique stuff. This deer is fantastic and so is the little red bow tie cat. Now this bunny planter definitely has my attention too. It's $32. It's probably a little too close for me, honestly. The cat is $8.50, which is a super good deal. Um, oh my gosh, look at the left in Christmas soul drawn as is. Oh, it's repaired and it's missing its mate. So we're gonna leave that. Lots of great stuff in this case. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a key yet. I'm, I've already opened a couple cases today and it's exhausting. <laughs> Last time I was here, I got lucky in this booth, which is a booth I normally don't even pay much mind to. I kind of glance over and glance back. Love the Santa um, light, but it's, $45, which is retail. Um, the thing is with, with the, what did I, oh, whoa, those are crazy. Yeah, I got super lucky with a Rushton um, in this booth last time, but no such luck today. That definitely doesn't happen every day. What's going on with the head base up here? I'm not sure. 45, that's a no. Very pretty though. Love the old Valentine's Day cards. Again, I'm looking for the ceramics. Although that one is really cute. I love the honeycomb. 
Oh my gosh, look at that. Ah. Oh my gosh, this card. This is totally me, you guys. I have to take a picture of this and send it to my gentleman friend. He will get a kick out of that. More Valentine's Day candy boxes. I've had this one a few times. I'm kind of over it. Again, this one has some damage. This one has some damage. And that has damage too. Unfortunately, these look like the ones I left here last year. I am obsessed with the vintage Christmas napkins. They're amazing. Uh, I have not had luck with napkins, even though these ones are super spectacular and special. I'm gonna pass. I do have to know what this black dress is. It's so pretty. Love this puffy balloon skirt on that. Definitely out of my price range, but this chick is incredible. Oh, I love the risque bottle opener, but 20, 22 is uh, about retail on that. I'm also super into the risque matches box, but being a little lazy with the cases, it's not really worth it to me. Now I do love that uh, wooden box. It's $48 though, not for me. Not for my purposes, at least. Lots of really cute things here. I love all the picks. A little higher price, and of course the little angels. These are funny too. Some Jose for originals, the birthday girls I don't really do. The beaded Santa pin is fun, but just about what I'd get for it after fees. Same with the bells. And the Rudolphs at $9 each. I usually sell those for 11, which is $9 in my pocket. And I have that guy right now, but not in as good condition and I'm selling him for significantly less than that. This booth is so much fun. They, I mean, the case that is. Um, I love the cats. This one is really interesting. Is that a salt and pepper shaker and just a single? 18 is probably about what I'd get for that after fees. And then the left in reindeer, that is definitely a single shaker. Hmm. Lots of fun stuff, but all a little too close for me. Oh my gosh, I love that. All right, well, this is one of my favorite booths here. I find some really unique stuff here. But I'm not really, I mean, that's really unique for sure, but I don't know, nothing's really popping out at me. Thus far, I love the poodle pillow, but it looks like it's seen better days. And um, same with this earring holder. Fun, 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 but nothing for me today, it looks like. Mid-century madness, I love the red. Um, the last time I was here, I ran out with a table like a crazy person. Hopefully I don't do that again. I cannot help but notice the flowers and the teapot. The flowers are $40 for the pair, which is about what I'd sell them for, and the teapot is 20, which is what I'd get for that after fees. The, the ball packs are fun, but the mermaid is amazing. Again, this stuff is all in pristine condition and priced super fair, but definitely retail. Um, oh my gosh, that Karak wall. Karak's really not my thing though. Let's see, what else can we find in here? This is like my danger zone right now. I'm afraid I'm gonna find something for myself I don't need. Like, what is this cat family on the chain? I see the poodle with the guy. 38, okay, that's about what I'd get for that after a fee, so I don't feel that bad about leaving that here. There's just so much, oh my gosh, like this napkin set. So stinking cute. Oh, and the canister set. Since I just moved, I'm like, it's kind of fun finding a few new doodads to add to my decor, but I've not seen anything. Ah, poodle mixer cover. No old stock. Oh my gosh. And the toaster cover. This one's teal. Oh, I don't need that though. I don't even think I brought my toaster. If I have, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Love the old hampers and trash cans. Um, I don't see one that I need. I did buy a hamper down the street at Pine House once. So it was pretty fantastic. It was like this pink kind of shiny material is epic. What's going on over here? Lots of good stuff. So cute. Babysitter's guide. Oh my God, stop. How cute are these? Oh my gosh, those are too stinking cute. 
at $25 each, so that's probably close to what I get for those after fees. What is this? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that too, but I don't need that. I don't need that. Oh, look at these fun chalkware. Hmm, a lot of stuff I like, but again, all kind of at retail price and nothing that's speaking to me enough for me to bring it home to my place. I love the Lucite Flowers 38 is pretty close to what I get for that after fees, as is most things in here, which I keep saying. Oh my gosh, I love the pink lamp. But what's happening back here? I love that tin. Um, again, a little too much for me. I'm cheap. I mean, I will dish it out if I feel like I really have to, but it makes it more fun when you find it for a little bit more under value. Lots of fun stuff, but nothing I need. Okay, let me get out of here. Enter danger zone number two. Okay, and this is all priced at retail. This person has such fun, unique stuff. Oh my gosh. Like I love whatever is happening here. <laughs> so much fun stuff, oh my gosh. Look at that, is that Eddie Munster? Pizza backpack, very cool. Um, the orange wreath, love that. Oh, good grief, look at all this stuff. Love these Miller Studio chalkware. 19 for the kit pair. Ooh, that one's really repaired. Look, you guys, it's another Elvis lamp. That one's got its original shade. I like my shade better though. If I was like, an, a, like a super picky collector, it would be different. What is this rug? A purple shag rug? No, it's a pillow, just kidding. And the little pose angel, 19. I really like the green macrame owl. That's even wilder than the one I picked up the other day. Um, that one's 35 though. And of course the taxidermy rooster is fun. Uh-oh, what do we have here? It's gonna be expensive. What? $29? What? Oh, she's missing some of her hair. That's still an incredibly good price. Man, I'm almost tempted to pick, oh, it's got sticker eyes, not painted. That makes me nervous. Now, normally the ones that are chalk with um, the hair like that and the boudoir face, I jump on for the right price. I even keep a couple, honestly. The lamps are fun, but this hanging one with the, oh, the card playing lamp, that is so fun. So this is kind of how I know Valentine's Day has been kind of canceled. This is normally all holiday themed and it was Christmas and now it's no holiday whatsoever. So kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. The hunting is the most fun part, honestly. Spent a whopping 12 bucks in there and it's before noon. We're gonna make our last stop in Adamstown before I get back on the road and uh, go to some different places that I normally don't go. So let's go to Pinehill.